this video we learn how to create an intersection intersections are created from the create design panel at the home tab up here you can see intersections if i pull down that intersection command you can see there's create intersection create roundabout add approach and configure roundabout tools so here we want to create an intersection and we are prompted to select intersection point and this is the intersection point and once you click on that the create intersection general dialog shows up and here the general part you can select the name of the intersection and then the intersection marker the marker layer the label style and the intersection corridor type so we want both our primary and our secondary roads to be crowned so i select all crown maintain and then i go to the next here i'm allowed to set up the parameters in between uh, our roads will have offsets that will be created during the intersection creation and here you can see you can set up the offsets that will be created and we'll set them up according to our lane width which is 3.5 for all these for all these offsets as you can see there's a there's a visual down here showing you what those offsets are that's okay and then next the curb return parameters showing you at the northeast quadrant this is the northeast quadrant these are the parameters i'm okay with that if i, if I go to next north northwest quadrant these are the parameters i'm also okay with that and then the slope parameters are this, the slopes that we had selected the slope the cross slope to that side is negative two to this other side is negative two to this side is negative two because all crowns are being maintained and then the profile cap return parameters okay leave them at default and then go to next here we want to create corridors we want to create this junction or intersection in the existing in the existing corridor we want to add it to our one and only corridor and then here the uh, the target surface is the topo surface and then here we are we are prompted to select the sub assemblies or the assemblies that are going to build up the intersection i had created sub assemblies of my own here are the ellipse uh the for the curb return for here I want the the assembly I I created and this is the assembly so it will be returning to towards the center and we'll have one side here it, instead of a cab it's a shoulder because our main road had a shoulder not a cab therefore i select that it's called a shoulder return for here and then primary road full section i will select at d1 this is how our full section looks like as you can see here far away from the intersection we have our full section this is how it looks like just add the one and then let me select the next part 
The next part will have a lane on one side and then the shoulder and the daylighting. So it is the left. It will have a lane on the left. So I select that. Okay, and then this other one will also have a lane on the right. So I select this one. And then the secondary road, which is our RD2, will also have same full section as this one. And then we repeat the left. The left half, select the left half here. Then this one we also select the right half. As you can see, we'll have a lane here, and then uh, the shoulder and the and 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 the daylighting. And once you're through, you can even save whatever you put here. As I said. can call it academy intersection and save it and once you are done setting up you can create the intersection So you'll have to regen for that for that junction to show up. There you go. Here we have some editing to do because it is not very accurate. So as you can see, this lane here is not targeting properly to the alignments here. So as this case here. And also here, there seems to be a problem. All right. So how we do that? We click on the corridor, we go to corridor properties. And here you will see now many baselines that have been added onto this corridor. So if you click on a baseline, you will see you can be able to see down there which baseline you've, you're clicking on. For example, this is the northeast which is being affected. Let's see. Northeast is this one. As you can see the baseline. This is the baseline. And here for the part of shoulder return, there seem to be something wrong with the with the targets. Let's let's look at the targets. First of all, here we can see that the shoulder is targeting something. The shoulder can't be targeting anything. We don't want the shoulder to target anything, so we set it up to none. For the width target. Uh, for the elevation of the width target, we will target the profile. So first of all, let's click on OK and observe what has happened. Let's apply, rebuild the corridor. As you can see now, the shoulder is not targeting anything, therefore the shoulder has now been sorted. Let's do this again for the other quadrant, the northwest quadrant. This is the one for the targets. The shoulder width does not need a target. So we remove that shoulder width target. We apply. And as you can see, that's also sorted. So 
what is remaining is is our portion here there seems to be a hole there because this lane is not targeting this alignment and this alignment so let's even look at this let's free up space here and here let's look at this even on uh, 3d to see what's happening there's this hole here so we need to target this alignment and this center line alignment here how we do that we, we will split this region and this region into two so that the first half targets this alignment and the second half targets this alignment also for the other side likewise for the other side let me pick on this and i can click on split region it's asking me which region i select that region and then i want to split at that point again i split this region and i split it up to that point now these two are split now it's be a matter of targeting this portion targeting this and this portion targeting this alignment and this portion targeting this alignment and this portion targeting this alignment so we'll do that at the corridor properties sorry let's go to corridor properties parameters as you can see now we split this into two let me see this is the region so for this i'll be targeting rd1 alignment so for the lane spell elevation aor i target the offset i target rd1 and it's the left side and then for elevation i target fg finish ground design profile i only take it for rd1 and as you can see it's now rebuilt and then for the second portion which is up here i'll be targeting rd2 let me target rd2 for the width target rd2 and then here for the elevation target i'm not targeting fg rd2 I'm, I'm i'm only targeting finish ground rd2 we rebuild our corridor and this area is now okay so this we only have a, a hole here we'll also do whatever we've done so that's this so i'm targeting this alignment and its profile for the width target i'm targeting that alignment so that alignment is rd2 left and then here i'm targeting its corresponding design profile which is fg rd2 apply and then for the next part i'm targeting this alignment which is rd1 and its corresponding rd1 and its corresponding finish ground profile so i uncheck the fg rd2 and i i have the fg design profile 
remaining. And we rebuild our corridor and there you go. We now have our intersection. And you can now even bring you can now bring over the other portion 